that's it. It's working. There's so much to say. Where do we begin? How about hello? Good idea. Hello. If you're Liv, then I'm your mother, Melissa. And if you're Liv Prazier, then I'm your mother, Sarah. So what we decided to do was make this hollow recording to tell you about the world before. If you know why everything fell apart and how we made you, then maybe you'll be able to avoid it somehow. The truth is, we don't know, really know why it all happened. We only know what happened. Just under 70 years ago, things to Just under 70 years ago, boys started being born wrong. At first, it was just a, a peak in the male birth defects, a little higher than in previous decades, but generally considered nothing to be concerned with within 20 years, however. Even the healthiest of boys was being born with a physical defect. <coughs> Some thought that the Y chromosome must have become deteriorated somehow. <coughs> that seemed them off. I hope they learn to stop approaching soon though, because we're almost out of bullets and this thing is getting harder to fire. Where were we at? Just the birth defects. Oh right, okay. Carry on. Girls were being born without a problem. At least, no more than was statistically normal. We couldn't work it out. Some thought that, after hundreds of thousands of years, the chromosome was starting to go wrong and to deteriorate. Others thought that it was because of the new fusion power plants. Whatever the reason, they gave it a name, the Lilith Syndrome. After Lilith, the mother of the monsters in Jewish myth. She was the first woman before Eve, cursed to give birth to monsters for rejecting Adam. And of course, some people thought that God was trying to punish us for some transgression or another. Some people always do, but we don't have time for a theology lesson. <laughs> Across the world, women were giving birth to boys with a single eye in their forehead. Heavy, twisted giants. Even children that didn't resemble anything human. Within a decade, even their personalities started to become monstrous. I mean, I'm sure the race would have survived if they were just different. People can learn to be attracted to all sorts, and at first, Many women bit the bullet and married one of the kinder monsters, but their male children were all too often nothing but beasts. Monsters in looks and in nature. Society started to disintegrate. When we were born, it was chaos. Most of the cities had been surrendered to the males, and the only power that you could get was from emergency generators. We've had to use the last of the oil that we have to record this in the hope that you'll find a way to watch it in the future. If you are watching this, then obviously you have. We do hope you will. I trained as a biologist. Like most of my generation, at least those that had an education, we were really concerned about the disintegration of society. Back in my parents' generation, they were concerned with the battle of the sexes, but we were the generation that realised there's no society future if generations are fighting at each other. We hope you'll be the answer. Melissa came up with the idea of making you, so I'm going to hand it to her to explain how you were, how we became pregnant. Thanks. I'd known Sarah for years. We grew up together, though I was being trained by the men whilst she was learning about biology. I read in a book somewhere about embryos being preserved in the past for fertility treatment. I wondered whether we could find an embryo from before Lilith syndrome and impregnate someone with a boy who would be born untouched by it. It was Sarah's idea to find a pre-syndrome girl as well, in case the problem was carried by women but only affected men. I'll carry on until she comes back. We 
along with other women, researched facilities that might have pre lilla syndrome embryos. It was difficult. Our parents' generation had this worldwide research facility called the internet, but it completely stopped working just before I was born. However, we looked through all these old newspapers and eventually we came across a place in Glasgow that looked like it was a possibility. We didn't even know if the embryos would still be there or even if they would be usable, but we had to try. Where did you get to? <laughs> Explaining how we find the fertility clinic in Glasgow. Oh, right, okay. Well, we'd known that Glasgow would fall into the men completely. It was a place of rampaging hordes of psychotic monsters. Mum joked that meant it hadn't changed much, but we didn't really get it. Anyway, we formed a group, two scientists and four soldiers, to go to Glasgow to see if we could find two viable embryos. Glasgow was worse than we had feared. Some of the men there still had the intelligence to use guns. We'd never even heard of that and we weren't trained for it. Sarah and I were the only survivors, but we got what we came for. Two viable embryos. A forward-thinking woman had managed to keep power in the facility for decades by barricading herself in. We found her. She was a skeleton by the time we discovered her and there was no name that we could find her under. But this unknown woman, she was a real hero. She's just as much your mother as we are. I suppose she's your father. I used all the instruments I could find to get us impregnated. But of course, I knew we couldn't stay there for long. Breaking in had made it less secure and there wasn't nearly enough food to keep us going for nine months. We had to escape under cover of darkness, knowing that we had life growing in us. But we made it, and here we are. We named you Lif, and Lif Prazir, after the boy and girl that survived Ragnarok. I suppose your names will be all that's really remembered of Norse legend in a few generations but it makes me happy to think that the two of you are seen as the survivors of Ragnarok. This is to explain the world that's been and what your purpose is in it. You'll grow up together, but you're not really related. You'll be the first male and first female of the new human generation. We're going to for more embryos and hopefully other women to carry them. But no matter what happens, you two are very special. You are the pro progenitors, the founders of this new... Shit! Sarah, we've got to go. We're out of bullets and the men know it. Oi! Is the car ready? Last I checked. I'll just cover this. I've got the whole cube. 